Welcome to CS3D Imaging Getting Started Recorded class. This class is designed for clinical team members and provides an introduction to the CS3D Imaging software. By the end of this class, you should be able to navigate the software. Identify the MPR workspace and tools. And review additional workspace tabs. Navigating the software. To open the 3D viewing software, right-click on a volume and select Open with CS3D Imaging, or double-left-click the volume. As the volume opens you may see preview labels that appear briefly. Once the preview labels are gone, you can begin navigating the volume. The patient's name is located on the main menu bar, along with the version of the software. The Implant Library Management drop-down in the main menu drop-down containing patient information, preferences, access to the help and software information. The analysis management drop-down enables you to create or edit distinct treatment plannings for the same volume. Next are the workspace tabs. Each workspace tab contains multiple view screens based on the tab you have selected. For example, on the multiplanar reconstruction, or MPR tab. You can view 3, 2D, MPR view screens, and 1, 3D view screen. Below the workspace tabs is the horizontal toolbar, which is used to create annotations, shapes, screenshots, reports, and export functions. On the left side of the window, the toolbox is available. The tools shown depend on the workspace tab you have selected and the preferences you have configured. The toolbox contains the adjustments pane, where a range of display adjustment tools are available. The tools pane displays available tools to use dependent on the tab you are viewing. The objects pane displays all tools that have been used in the tools pane or in the horizontal toolbar, such as annotations or nerve canal tracings. In the gallery displays thumbnail images of screenshots, snapshot images and cross-section slice series. Identifying the MPR workspace and tools. The MPR tab provides 2D MPR views and a rotatable 3D view. In the view screens, yellow represents the axial slice view, which displays horizontal slices allowing you to view them superior to inferior, or from top to bottom. Purple represents the coronal view, which displays vertical slices, allowing you to view them interior to posterior or front to back. Green represents the sagittal slice view, which displays vertical slices from medial to lateral or right to left. The view screen toolbars are available at the top of each view screen, and each toolset is related to the specific image in that view screen. For example, if we would like to maximize one of the views, simply select the Maximize option in the view screen you would like to maximize. Select the same tool to minimize the view screen. To move through the slices, Place your mouse over the view and use the wheel on your mouse to scroll through the slices. The mouse function settings can be set to your preference, here. You can also use the round colored handles to move through the slices. If the view has two round handles, the larger round handle is used to move through the slices as we did with the scrolling, and the smaller round handle allows you to tilt the angle of a slice plane. For example, to adjust the axial view, left-click and hold on the large round yellow handle to move through the axial slices. Or, left-click and hold the small round yellow handle to tilt the angle, which allows us to align the plane with any anatomical features in the 3D volume. During manipulation of a view, you may want all views to intersect at the same point again. To do this, simply hover over the view screen and push down on the wheel of your mouse to perform a wheel click and all view move to interest at the same point. Lastly, the 3D scene provides a rotatable, three-dimensional view of the 3D volume. Left-click and hold to rotate the 3D scene. 
or right click and hold to move the entire 3D scene. You can also right click and hold on the corner of a colored plane to adjust the plane views. Utilizing additional workspace tabs. Under the Curve tab, you can automatically or manually generate a reconstructed panoramic view, align a 3D model with a patient volume, and add virtual objects, such as implants or crowns. The layout of the tab is the same as our NPR tab, with the horizontal toolbox at the top. Four view screens, each with toolbars in the view screen. But now we have a red tag that represents the trace or reconstructed panoramic view screen. And the blue tag that represents the transaxial view screen. And displays a 90 degrees view through the trace drawn on the axial slice view screen. This is helpful for implant planning and as a general overview for each tooth. The toolbox is still available from the left side of the window. Under the Bilateral tab, you can examine specific regions of interest in depth, specifically the TMJ or EAR. The view screens that appear here depend on the type of acquisition used. The Bilateral tab has a green and pink tag that represent the patient's left TMJ or EAR view. Green moves through slices going anterior to posterior through the joint, and the pink slices move right to left. The red and blue tag views represent the patient's right side. Red moves through the slices going anterior to posterior, and blue moves through the slices right to left. These view screens appear when you draw a trace on the axial slice view. Lastly, under the Review tab, you can review TIFF, JPEG, PNG, and DICOM snapshots and slices that were generated with the cross-section tool before printing them. The views on the review tab depend on the type of images displayed. This concludes the CS3D Imaging Getting Started Recorded Class.